In the central province, Sri Lanka police fired tear gas and water cannons at hundreds of university students over the protest that demands economic reforms. Despite a coffee on Monday, protesters gathered to demand for the appointment of an all-party interim government to address the worst economic crisis that has plagued the country. Long hours of power outages and scarcity of essentials have angered the public and government is said to be ineffective about fixing it. President Gotabaya Rajapaska issued a notification on Friday night declaring a public emergency in Sri Lanka with immediate effect from April 1st. The government also imposed a 36-hour curfew with effect from 6 p.m. Saturday to 6 a.m. Monday. Internet service providers were also ordered to restrict social media access, preventing planned demonstrations by the angry youth. Part of the goal of the protest is to oust presidents over the unbearable living costs and a foreign exchange crisis. Joining the trend, lawmakers from Sri Lanka's principal opposition party, Samagi Jana Balawigaya, also staged an anti-government protest in Colombo against President Rajapaksa's move to impose a state of emergency and other restrictions. Police officials set up barricades leading up to the Independence Square, which was built to commemorate Sri Lanka's independence in 1948. University students, accompanied by their lecturers, proceeded towards the Galaha Junction and tensions boiled over when they attempted to remove the barricades set up by the police.